Welcome to the Knowledge Center. Today we are going to discuss more and more about the foundation, how it is made, what are the types of foundation, what are the equipment that comes on foundation. Foundation is one of the very important equip important thing. As you already know, every foundation everything has a foundation if foundation is stronger then your career your aim your result will be higher right so we already know about this let me just show you a few slides so that you will be able to understand you just check my arrow okay So what is foundation how does it looks like how does it look like and the types of major foundation in refinery steps to make foundation what are the tools you need you need to do a station hammer let's start so that uh, I can show you some pictures photos and you will be able to know what actually a foundation is how it is made so this is a kind of foundation a hexagonal foundation so overall for this is called foundation you know just understand for the understanding purpose this is the foundation there are many kinds of foundation I will be telling you and so here you can see here some bars are here this one this one this are these all called these all are called anchor bolts this black marking called bitumen so every foundation after making it it should be colored with this and then only QC will verify and then you can do the back filling all around you know I will be telling you how it is made see these all are the vessels what you actually see when you know these all vessels everything here is on the foundation and the front foundation this one what you are seeing is actually a compressor foundation here compressor, here turbine will come, here compressor will come, here auxiliary system will come and all many other things for this gas turbine. And this is what you are seeing is called HRSG, heat recovery steam generator. This is called module 1, this is called module 2, this is called main stack, this is called bypass stack. Okay, so better our topic is foundation, so I will be discussing only about foundation. So finally, when the vessel is erected, it looks like this. So this is how it will look like. And you can see here, you know, the anchor bolt is here and then some uh, masking tapes we put because that need to be welded later on. And see, this is, this is foundation. This is the bitumen marking and this is the foundation. Here, this, what is this, this extra layer, this is called grotting, you know. So they have grotted the foundation. Why grotting is done, I will be telling you in my next step. So just understand, this is how a vessel foundation is made, then vessel is installed and the grotting is done. Another example for the same. Yes, this is, that, that was called column or vertical vessel. Here it is exchanger, stacked exchanger. And it is also grotted and on installed on foundation. So this is when two foundation are there, then it must be a horizontal, some horizontal vessel. See here also two foundation. So some horizontal vessels or equipment is coming. It was just a small video. See here, you can see here a big vessel, but it is horizontal because it has two foundation here also two foundation so mostly when there are two foundations something horizontal vessel or equipment or exchanger is coming okay this is also a foundation above that this is called padding padding plates and this is the flare base so from flare so this is called flare foundation okay and okay let me start how do we actually make that foundation see this is the basic step 
which they follow at first you know this is how uh, with the ma uh, with the total station and survey they first mark all the coordinate point and then mark with the red color you know red spray painter and then as per the marking they put the wooden all around and then they mark this uh, you know three uh, rods and then you know what they will do they will just put the concrete and this will be called blinding yeah exactly civil also has the term blinding and if you can see here a small machine if you can are able to see this is called ramming machine where you know this uh, ground is being leveled if it is uh, loose soil then it it can become hard okay so this is the basic step of foundation we start from the survey level we mark here 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 all marking is done and then accordingly we put this wood so it becomes a hexagonal shape it can be any shape okay foundation can be in any shape but for the vertical vessels this is most acceptable foundation so after that see here small blinding you know concreting is done already so this is called blinding and then after blinding you can put this metallic plates and you can make something inside you know there is some space where you will put concrete where you will put all the rods and all so this is the second step the foundation guys do above the blinding and then this is called also called shuttering okay shuttering see after that shuttering is supported with uh, all these pipes or supports so that when you put pouring when you put the concrete with heavy pressure pressure then it should not come out okay so this is how the second third step is done supports and then four steps will be putting the rod that is made of whatever size and the design is is given as per them they make it and then they put inside this and then after that this is called template you know this is very important they put the template above these rods okay this is actually the main thing of the foundation where the anchor bolts should come so this is called template template is just like you know the uh, vertical vessel the bottom is curved part okay same copy uh, vendor supplied with that and here we just put it on that and then we make uh, we mark we check the coordinate point of all the bolts and the distance everything and then the next step will be so here next step is pouring of concrete so uh, with the pouring machine and everything mm, just keep on pouring here because it is already fixed and all so just keep on pouring vibrating keep on pouring vibrating so it is the picture after the pouring is done see sometime you know this was uh, you, as you have seen there that was a wooden template so you can use any anything but uh, the metallic one which comes from the vendor is uh, widely acceptable and there is a very less chance of any errors this this is how it looks when the curing is done after the concrete pouring we we keep it just for two days or three days for the curing when the curing is done it looks like this so next step is going we are going to remove this okay so in this picture i can show you it is removed now and only anchor bolts are now visible there is no black marking but they will uh, since they have already backfilled i just show you some other example like uh, not only hexagonal it is the rectangular uh, foundation so there will be see after the after concrete pouring and curing it will become like this this all box you can see this is called anchor box where the bolts will come basically this kind of foundation where bolts is uh, grotted after the foundation is made 
is for uh, rotating equipment so rotating equipment will always you know first make the foundation then after installation of the equipment they grow out the anchor bolt okay it is just for the easy purpose because uh, we don't want any kind of rework at all so if you are very perfect you can put the anchor bolt before and this is the i already told you that this is a compressor and gas turbine skids and it is like step wise and nearby skids are all auxiliary skids like lube oil fuel gas scrubber gas and all this is also a foundation but this is uh, not for our purpose uh, not for mechanical it is for structural so there will be see very small foundation up to this it will be backfilled all the black marking between it will be black filled and only this will be visible where they put structures and every foundation must have uh, this pad plates that is i will be sh uh, telling you more about this in my next video so then only you put any structure or any foundation then grow out because this gives you enough this enough gap right it was a small video again and then this is the foundation after the chipping can you see some difference in this foundation like something is taken out from the surface yeah so this is chipping is done and the bolt is protected with the masking tape so that uh, it can avoid rusting though it is not a proper uh, reliable way but yeah people use this so and here you can see a line that is called slope so when the curing is done so QC will ask you to do uh, slope test slope test and post post survey report and all they will be asking a lot of things so you have to provide them and the compression test should be done after the after this so here here it is another kind of foundation for the heat exchanger okay here it is for the vessels when it is it looks like you know see two so remember but it is more big so it uh, some kind of heavy equipment is coming here also these all are horizontal vessels are coming on this and below these all are a structural foundation this is also for either exchanger or heat exchanger or vessel here are the same here uh, biggest vessel is coming it must be vertical because uh, the foundation is hexagonal so some vertical vessel is coming here or you can tell vertical vessel as a column and this is a structural foundation here also same thing chipping is done this is slope tear slope uh, is being done then they will do the repairing and all and this plate you can see here with the marking is called this is the plate which called pad plates see here they did the some repairing and all and then QC will test is then see the the chipping they did the chipping all around the bolts so chipping for the uh, rotating equipment you have to do uh, mostly mostly I'm talking about mostly you have to do for the whole of the foundation and sometimes even just near to the bolt or uh, the skid where it is coming only the skid parts but for the vessels vertical vessels horizontal vessels, you just have to chip just uh, around the skirts around the bolts okay thanks for watching my video i hope it won't be much interesting but at least it can give you an overview how does a plant look like and what is foundation and all so just keep keep on subscribing my channel like and share uh, next time since i'm not i am not getting much time to prepare myself and learn some editing software so i just try to make a uh, slides in my computer and then try to capture it from my mobile phone so no problem i uh, whenever i'll get time i will try to learn all those things because you know Teaching on Blackboard is a different thing even if you don't know softwares and you're not good in electronic or technology you can you can uh, if you are just good in uh, teaching then you can teach but 
if you want to teach somebody online or if, uh, say online then it is really very tough 